Alrighty guys and welcome back. We're gonna be spawning in an Ironworks of Misery. Now first thing I want to let you guys know is I am in a four-man pre-made. We can see all the way down the end that we're gonna be versing Lisa. I can tell that hairstyle anywhere. Now we've got two people working on a generator which is gonna get done in 47 and a half seconds. We know we're gonna be versing the hag and we're gonna be finding out right now if she has monitor and abuse. Based on how close she is right now with the heartbeat, we can kind of tell she does have monitor. See how my teammate responds to that? He's gonna take him to the shack and he's not gonna be able to make the window without a hit in the back. Unaware of if that is going to be sloppy butcher as well. We can hear the heartbeat, we're on the edge of it as well, and there goes modern abuse. Unfortunately, Dwight looks like he wants to go for a flashlight save, which could turn around and cost us quite a lot of time that we could be applying towards generators. I'm going to come all the way over here. I'm going to wait a second, I don't need to run too fast. It's only 110% movement speed. There's not really much she can do in this situation. Somebody destroyed her trap, therefore she can't teleport to it. Good play by her, bad positioning by me. I have to just go for it. Good play by her again. She got caught at the fire barrel, which is really, really nice. Okay. Let's go right back in for our generator. She has ruin regressing it. No, she doesn't. She had it. She had to manually regress it. All right, we got another one here too. We got a really good window alignment against her. This would not be good, but the kill is 110% movement speed. I'm gonna take the window on her again. Alright, somebody triggered a trap. Let's go right back over here and see where it is. Unfortunately, this tile is very strong, especially against somebody who can't projectile hit you. And unfortunately, the hag can't. She needs real good trap placement. The issue for her now is she's applying the trap placement on one side of the board. So if we get the gens done here, she's going to be in trouble for the late game. However, there are three people that were here. If you've noticed, there's only two now. That's going to hurt her because the other two people are going to be MIA, applying pressure somewhere else. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to complete this gen. We're going to run it and try and finish my other allies' generator. I do have access to dead hard. If I am injured, I also have iron wool, so I won't make any cries of pain. There goes three gens simultaneously based on how long that hag committed to that chase. Unfortunately, she puts her in a really bit... A really, really poor position. I'm going to go work on this gen. She's got two generators left. Alright, now you'll notice the hag always turns and looks straight towards the player. The closest player that triggered the trap as well. So therefore, good hags will be able to teleport quick. And they won't even look. They'll just lunge. And they'll be able to hit you off of that. Based on the fact that you're going to have to use dead hard or sprint burst to be able to get the right distance away. And if they're really quick with the teleports, remember it's a 40 meter range you can be in a little bit of trouble against a very experienced hag. Unfortunately, if you're stacking on your traps like this hag is, and people are working in different areas, you're going to be in trouble. I did see her. I know I got a pallet to my right. I'm going to just give it to her. The game's pretty much over. There's no point in me trying to preserve the pallet. While she's in the middle of progressing the generator, we'll trigger that. Just because I know she was stuck in animation. She's putting another one down. Think of how much time she's spending here. I don't need to go far. I've got such a strong loop here. Unless she has prep already, she's in trouble to try and run this. Rather than double back and second guess myself, we'll take spacing away. We'll just cycle between both of these rather than taking any risks. Let's see how she plays that. Yet again, we're just going to go further and further away. We're all the way down by the shack now. Think of how far back she is. If she doesn't have any prep, she's in trouble. What does she think all my teammates are currently doing right now? Crow respawned in the middle of the map. Noted. She's chasing me too. Another pallet to my right-hand side. The hag is pretty short, so she does have a lower field of view. She also has 110% movement speed. Somebody completed the generator in the corner. She's running around. She must be going back. No, she might have lost me. She might be looking for a no ed play on the final survivor, or one survivor. I'm going to take a hit in the back here, so I need to take spacing on this. I couldn't do it in time. That's okay. I'm going to hide from her, rather than run from her. I set the crows off, so she might have heard that. She, somebody triggered a trap, and she's gone. She got one hit on me. I gave her no pallets then. I gave her one earlier on in the, tra uh, the chase. At the same time, 
we've got multiple people working on different generators. It puts her in a really, really awkward situation. We've got a gen down here. Check out if the teammate is injured. Do you see blood on the ground? You don't. Therefore, I trust in my teammates to be able to borrow, uh, body block a hit from the killer for me. I'll make sure I try and funnel that way. And I also have um, Dead Hard, which will be available for me to recover from a mistake. However, it looks like the Hag is committing to another chase. Therefore, it is going to hurt her towards the end of the game. We're going to Adrena Hard. There we go. We're going to open this door. We're going to prep it at 99 and we'll see where we go. If she doesn't have no edge, she's in a really sticky spot. But if she does have no edge, she can make a pretty strong comeback from this. So we have to be very, very careful. The fact is I'm near an exit gate and I won't make that pallet if she has no edge. My door's prepped. I'm not going to bother walking to get dead hard back because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get a chance to use it. Dwight behind us, we can hear the heavy breathing. Let's go straight towards this door and see what happens from there. Dwight having a flashlight came in a lot of handy this game as well. Both doors are fully prepped. Looks like the hag, that's not the hag, that is going to be my teammate. Looks like that's going to be game over. This just goes to show you, as a killer that's all about prep and applying pressure through that, you really have to be careful with your time management or you're going to get split pressured on gens. Corrupt Intervention is going to help you. Ruin and Surveillance, I guess, is a combo that some people run. Some run Sloppy Butcher, some run Surge, Pop, Save the Best for Last. There's a lot of good choices for the Hag, but time management is probably going to be the hardest thing to master if you do decide to play her. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you're watching this one over at YouTube, this is an educational, informative, rank one survivor game. Not a lot of action in this game, but hopefully there is going to be a little bit of information that you guys can learn from in that game as well. If you guys want to help support the channel, like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am in a four-man pre-made, and I'll see you guys in the fog in the next stream. Have a good one.